In this video, we are going to learn about data type. So in this program, we are using the data type int for storing numbers. So first of all, we will write data type. Then we will write variable. Then we will write value. We will store this value in our variable. So in this example, we are using the value 50. 50 is a number. We are storing that number in a variable named data. You can name anything, anything as you want. You can name it as number. You can name it as um, value. Anyway, any name you can give. So I'm going to name it as data. And the data type of this variable is int. Okay. Now we can learn more about data type. Data types are of two types. One is primitive and another one is non-primitive. In primitive data type, for storing numbers, we will use byte, short, int, and long. Now for storing decimal numbers, we will use float and double. Now for storing characters such as A, B, C, D, all those kind of individual letters, we will use char. And now for, for storing foo or false, we will use boolean. Now non-primitive data types are user-defined data types such as strings, arrays, class, object, and interface. Now we can learn with an example. Suppose I have a number 5. That is my value. I need to store this number in a memory location. For storing numbers, the data types are byte, short, int, and long. Now in this example, we can use the data type byte. Now I'm going to write byte A. What will happen? I'm going to name a memory location as A and the data type of that memory location is by so that it can store number. Now I'm going to write A equal to 5. That means I'm going to store number 5 in our variable A. I'm going to store number 5 to our memory location. So this is the example. Now I have a doubt. Up to what number we can store? Is there any limit? Why we are learning short, int, and long? If byte can store number, then why we are learning short, int, and long? So we can see one table. Oh my God, this is a big table, right? So first of all, starting from byte. Byte, it's, yes, there is a limit for storing number. It can store all numbers from minus two raised to seven to two raised to seven minus one. That is, from minus 128 to 127. I don't think you can remember these numbers. It is very hard to remember this number. I will make it easy for you. See, powers of 2. You are all familiar with powers of 2. 2 cube, it is 8. 2 raised to 4, it is 16. 2 raised to 5, it is 32. 2 raised to 6, it is 64. Now subtract with minus 1. So 8 minus 1, it is 7. 16 minus 1, it is 15. 32 minus 1, it is 31. And 64 minus 1, it is 63. 7, 15, 31, and 63. Now see, 7, 15, 31, 63. Simple, right? So byte can store numbers from minus 128 to 127. Like that, short can store numbers from 2 raised to 15, 2 raised to 15 minus 1. Like that, int, there is a limit. For long, there is a limit. We can see that in our in the regime. So first of all, I'm going to use byte. Let's use byte. Okay. And I'm going to store number five itself. Now, if I run this program, I will get the output 50. Okay. Now I'm going to store number 128. See, I'm getting an error because Byte can store only number up to 127. Okay, now I'm going to use, okay, I need to store 128. What will I do? I need to change the data type. I'm going to change the data type to int. Now it is not showing error. So up to how much number int can store? Let's see. Int can store up to, oh my God, this is a big number, right? I don't, this 2 raised to 31. So there is a limit. So for storing large numbers, we need to use the data type long. Let's go to IntelliJ. 
and now I'm going to store my mobile number. That is 9845989555. Okay. Oh my God, why it is showing error? Because I need to change my data type. I'm going to change it as long. Still it is showing error. Why it is showing error? Because whenever we use the data type long, we need to put either small letter or capital letter L. Okay, either small letter L or capital letter L. So we can use uppercase letter L here. Now, when you run this program, you will get that number. So for storing numbers, we, are, we will use byte, short, int, and long. And this is the limit of number that it can store. Now, coming to decimal number, go to IntelliJ. Now, we need to store decimal numbers, such as my percentage, 96.54678. This is my percentage. See, I'm getting error because this is a decimal number. For storing decimal number, we need to use the data type float. Still, it is showing error. Why it is showing error? Because like long, here also we need to use either small letter F or capital letter M. So now let's run this program and we can see the output 54678, decimal numbers 54678. Now I have a doubt up to how much decimal number it can store. Let's see. I'm going to write 9784. Now I'm going to run. What I'm going to get, see, 54679. The remaining values I'm not getting. So, plot can display decimal numbers up to five decimal places. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, six decimal places. Now, there is another, if I want to, store more decimal values such as 8, 9, 5, 6, 7, 3, or anything. Okay. If I want to store more decimal num values or decimal digit, what should I use? I need to change the data type. I need to change the data type from float to double. Okay. Always use lowercase letter. Now I am not getting error. In double, you can you can put this small letter D or capital letter D. There is no problem. If you didn't use that, then also there is no problem. Okay. If you use that also, then no problem. If you does not use, then also no problem. Now I'm going to run this program and I'm going to check whether I'm getting this answer. See, I'm getting only decimal value up to four. That is up to here. The remaining values are got rejected. Why? Double can store decimal digit up to 15 decimal digits, like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So double can store decimal digits up to 15 decimal points or 15 decimal digits. So float can store uh, 5 or 6, 6, I think, 6 decimal digit, and double can store up to 15 decimal digits. Now, what is the purpose of Boolean? Now, Boolean is used to store true or false. Okay. I'm going to change the data type to Boolean. Then I'm going to name anything, any variable. Variable equal to true. So here I used variable. So I'm going to print variable. Now, if I run this program, Let's run this program. See, I'm getting the output as true. If one more possible way is writing false. So Boolean is used to store true or false. We can't store numbers or some other data or names. We can't store all those kind of things. We can store only true or false. It will display either true or false. Now the next data type is yeah, char is used to store individual characters. Individual characters means, um, I will show you. Okay, let's change the data type. I'm going to use the data type cap. It is used to store uh, letters. So I'm going to name it as 
any names you can give there is no problem you can give your name also it should be meaningful okay so cap letters i am going to store the letter a see now i am getting an error why i am getting error because if you are using the cap data type then you need to put the letter in a single inverted comma if you are using words or sentences you need to use double inverted comma but if you are using only a individual letter then you should use single inverted comma now i am going to print here i am going to use letters letters now if i print this i will get the answer a see i am getting the letter so char is used to store letter so these are the primitive data types byte short int and long is used to store numbers float and double is used to store decimal digits boolean is used to store true or false char is used to store letters now there is non primitive data type that we will be discussing in the upcoming videos